Well, we are headed up to do some cutting in the dark. We'll be doing it in the headlights. We've got a light bar in the front of the truck and headlamps. Uh, the reason we're cutting at night is because they finally closed the road down to people coming up here cutting during uh, work hours because of the loggers. So, ain't no biggie. Hopefully, they got some uh, firewood trees decked up and we can haul some wood tonight. So, be a change of pace. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Those who are wondering, yes, I cut wood all year round. I cut wood during the summer, spring, fall, winter. Um, People need firewood and we're keeping folks warm. So before you drop a negative comment about us cutting at night or in cold temperatures, think about what you're saying. So anyhow, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video or tonight's video and we'll catch you in the landing. So here's the reason we're cutting at night. Um, I just talked to one of the skidder operators and uh, he said he skidded up a bunch of firewood logs for us. So Doran must have told him that we were coming up cutting at night. So that was pretty awesome of him. Like I said, Doran's an awesome, awesome person. Very, very grateful for him being a friend of mine. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna get up here and cut some firewood. It's pretty chilly, so. Anyhow, yeah, I, Doran, he said I could come up during the daytime and cut, but I don't want to be that guy that gets to do it and no one else gets to and don't want a bunch of people mad at me. So anyhow, we'll just do some night cutting and get some firewood orders done. Kelsey and the boys in there, Miss McKenzie in here. So stay tuned. Give you guys a... Uh, video of the ride in nice plowed road it's the only spots we can come cut this time of year and there's two and a half three feet of snow <clears throat> no, very fortunate that we do have someone like Doran to skid in firewood logs oh, very very appreciative to that man he, uh, he could simply just leave them out in the brush but He's uh, one of, he is the top logger on the Colville Indian Reservation. That man has made something of himself. He started out cutting timber as a log cutter. He started out with a skidder and a loader and he's built his way up. I mean, you guys might have seen in the last video, he's probably got four or five million dollars worth of equipment sitting in that landing. Very glad to be able to call that guy my friend, so. <clears throat> get up here and get some good firewood cut. Got about, oh, about a mile and then we'll be up here. Maybe we'll come across a big old white tail buck or elk. I still have an elder tag I need to fill. Elder elk tag, so season goes till the end of the month but we've got to get wood sales done and then uh, fix those snowmobiles and then we'll go snowmobile in and tow the sled behind us and try and whack an elk get that guys leaving this is where they kicked their kicked their bark out of their truck the other day no respect Guys like that are gonna cause Doran to uh, just leave the firewood trees out in the brush.
Well, we just passed the last of the guys heading out. We got a nice firewood log right here. Nice fir log. See, somebody's been up here cutting. Probably up in here during the day when they're not supposed to be. But got enough right here. We'll get these buzzed up and loaded up.
Well, I don't know if you guys can see us with all the lights and stuff, but come up to uh, get some wood sails taken care of. And, we know, might just be shadows moving in the dark for all we know. It's some sound, so. Yeah, we, uh, this is what we're reduced to, which it ain't bad. You know, fill up both trucks, quarter wood, and. Nice to be on fog ground, too. I yeah. think it's harder when you're fighting, you know, deep snow and you're having to make trails and that's worse than this. So yeah. I'd rather cut at night than do on this than trail and then making trails in deep snow in the day. So Yeah, so we're very appreciative of Doran. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I talked to the skidder operator. He told me, he said, I drug in a bunch of firewood logs for you guys. They're right by my skidder. Well, there was these ones here too, but like I said, Doran must have told him that we were coming up cutting tonight because I had messaged Dora and told him, I said, no, I don't want to bend the rules for me and have someone else mad at me. So we come up to cut at night and hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's video. It's going to be kind of a short one, I think, but, you know, bring you guys a little bit of, uh, a little bit of differency. I mean, it's entertainment. Kind of, yeah, different entertainment, different ways that maybe you might have to do it at some point or someone you know has to do it. You know, especially in our area, you know, deep snow, there's still people that need wood, and yep. you gotta do what you gotta do, and it's for everybody, you know. Loggers are starting later and leaving earlier, and probably doing more days, and so, you know, everyone's making up where they have to to get things done, so. Nothing wrong with night shift. Yep. You can see our breath, too, so it was like, I think, 8 degrees when we, uh, when I checked the last. I got a t-shirt and a hoodie on, and I'm sweating my butt off. Yeah, it, it was. I was wearing that flannel over this, and I even brought a car hard jacket just in case, but it's supposed to get down to negative 15 tonight where we live, so you know, we're probably going to be getting some more calls, I'm sure. Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's video. We wish you good health and happiness as always. We're going to get this load delivered, come back up and cut one more load on each of the trucks tonight. So anyway, over and out. Love you guys. Pizza for dinner. Dinner, Sorry you guys missed the uh, live feed, yeah. but it'll probably be this way for a few weeks now. Well, now that we're out of school for a couple, maybe next week we'll do a midday or something, I don't know. Yeah. Or do another one a different night. So. Who knows? We'll wing it as we go. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for See watching. See you guys later. There's three moose. It's kind of hard to see. Pretty cool. Mama and two babies. Well, just cruising out. It's uh, about one in the morning. That clock is off. <clears throat> Coming out with the last load. This makes three and a half cord tonight. No, I didn't haul it all just on the Toyota, uh, as you guys probably seen. We had Kelsey's truck as well. Uh, we hauled three cord together, and then uh, on that la on that third cord, I went ahead and cut up another pickup load and went back up by myself for it, so I can bring it home to our house. Kelsey and the kids went home. They went home a couple hours ago, but. <clears throat> Anyhow, got three cord busted out. Um, you guys are wondering where the Hulk's at. Uh, it's zero degrees right now, and I don't want to chance that truck. So it's a good old truck, but I've never driven it in zero degree weather. So we brought the two tried and true vehicles this evening or tonight. So. 
like I stated before, uh, we're not allowed to cut during working hours. Well, you guys seen the sign. Um, but Doran was gracious enough to set me aside some logs so I could cut up to my... Right when we was pulling into the landing, there were some uh, other firewood cutters that were pulling out, but they never had any wood in the back of their truck. So I don't know if they were scouting it out or what. <laughs> They're probably like, oh man, there's a lot of wood right here. Well, there's maybe a cord left there in that deck. If that. But uh, anyhow, yeah, I just come up, had this already split. It in fact, the Toyota got a pretty good load on it. It's rounded up, but this load will be going to our house. I'm trying to play catch up. Um, a lot of folks see us behind on wood and ask why we don't cut during the summer. We do, we cut year round. Uh, having a big one ton down most of the year has been a pain. Well, about six months, I guess. Uh, felt like I was getting ahead this spring and then it broke down and then I went to cut timber during the summer so I wasn't cutting firewood then and uh, yeah I just got way behind I'm finally starting a couple more nights of this I'll have all my wood sales ca sales caught up and hopefully be able to stockpile some yeah I said stockpile I'm gonna get a few cord stockpiled at my house with my free use permit <laughs> just in case I need to go and supply someone in the middle of the night. That's a lot of folks gripe and stuff that we cut in the winter time. Oh, I should have done it during the summer, yada, yada. Well, what you don't realize is I get calls at night. I mean, when it's time to go to bed and folks are saying they're completely out of wood. Usually they have small children and uh, it don't matter if it's just a single person, you know, a grown man. Um, I'll load up my truck in the middle of the night and go and deliver to someone. And a lot of times I don't charge them. Um, and usually that, you know, I'll take them a third of a cord, maybe even a half. And, uh, you know, if they don't have the money, it's no biggie to me because I usually gain that customer. I have not once given firewood to someone who has not become my customer in the end. Uh, you know, just helping them out and they're like, oh man, this guy's pretty awesome. You know, he give me firewood without even asking for money. And, you know, I usually gain that customer. But that's what a lot of folks don't know is, uh, I bet you Kelsey and I have give, given away four or five cord this fall and winter so far. Um, not charged a dime, and uh, you know that was out of our own our own stack. Good thing I know I know how to go and get wood during uh, middle of winter and stuff like that, and I don't mind cutting when it's cold. I mean, heck, it was nice cutting tonight. You know when I was bucking up the logs, I had on two coats, and once I started splitting, I went to uh, one hoodie, and I wasn't cold at all. Just my trigger finger, when I was bucking, uh, it got a little cold, but that's about it. Anyhow, enough rambling. Just figured I'd chat with you guys on the ride out. It's about one in the morning. Like I said, that clock in my truck is on. Sorry for the rattling door. I know somebody's gonna say something about that it's an old beater with a heater but she runs good anyhow wish you good health and happiness love you all take care